Hey, this is Astrid, and today we're going to talk about advanced layouts. Alright, so today I was working on this website that I have here on Figma, and my intention was to make something pretty simple. I didn't want to take too long making this. And this layout looks very innocent and very easy, but there's one tricky thing about it, and I'm going to show you exactly what it is, and I'm going to show you how to turn that into a live WordPress site. So we're gonna go from Figma to WordPress and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. I figured that it would take way too long to really explain step by step how I turned this design into this. So I already have it here, I have it ready. And it took me a while to try to figure out how to have this curve right here and then have this uh, image like kind of overlapping the other section. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it and it's actually really easy once you figure it out which is the hard part. Okay so I have my oxygen builder here. It doesn't matter if you're not using oxygen you could use any other WordPress builder that you want or even you know you could also do this with HTML and CSS. The thing with this is that this curve is a little tricky because when you save this, this is just a solid um, blue background that I have here that I added with CSS. And then this part is actually, you know, we have this two, uh, the, the white borders on each side. And it's actually a little tricky to do that because you also have the shape here and then the overlapping image. So what I did was I saved this part um, like this. So I have the curve in the gray in the gray area in the gray background, and then I opened that with Illustrator, and I I gave it a side of 1920. So this is 1920 pixels wide. And then what I did next was I added a wide border on each side that is going to allow us to keep that those borders on each side at all times or at least until we decide they need to go um, and then the other part that is very important is when you save this you need to go to illustrator i'm not sure if figma does it but since i added this on with illustrator i wanted to show you that it's very important to check this little box here that says responsive because this is going to allow the the SVG to extend uh, and expand if if it's necessary. So that's the way I saved it. So let's take a look here. So this this background is actually, as I said, it's just a solid blue background. And then on top of that, I have this other section that has the the background. All right. So the tricky part about this one is this overlapping of the image and also the curve so the actual curve is in the background image that i saved as an svg and then um so i have my section here and in order to have that be on top of the blue part i just added a translate transform here a transform translate i mean of minus 40 pixels and then I did the same thing with my column that's inside that um, that section. So it's minus 75. So I have two transform translate properties in it to create this effect. Um, so it's very important the way you save that file. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to change this to black just to kind of, I know it's a little hard to see because it's a very light color. But the way I saved this was I have my two pieces of white on the side and then I also have my my light gray in the middle here. So the curve is already there and this is empty. It's very important that there's nothing here so we can overlap the other part and that there's no white or anything like that. And so this is the final result and as you can see I have what I wanted which is the curve and I have my background with the the gray the gray background with the with the 
white background, uh, the white borders. And then I have my image here overlapping and then I have my other two sections that look really good like that. This is exactly what I wanted. As you can see, this is exactly what I wanted. Um, and then you can also see, we can check that it works on other different uh, screen sizes. So pretty happy with that. And then it changes to one column. I have my image. I also decided to change the order of the columns because like this, I have, you know, left and right and then right and left for the images. So I wanted, I wanted it to be like this. So I have image, text, image, text, image. I didn't want two images at the same time. So what I did to, to accomplish that was once it gets to 992 pixels or smaller, I, I clicked here on, if you're, if you're using oxygen, you can go to layout and then change the display to flex. Uh, choose column here and then just click reverse and that's only going to apply to 992 pixels um, of uh, screen size and if we also check mobile size I'm pretty happy with this result I have consistent padding and then my image and everything has a I think it's a 20 pixel padding on each, each side which I think is a, a pretty good um, padding size and everything else is looking good this was quite a challenge layout challenging layout because um, as I said I thought it was gonna be really easy and simple but it was you know it took me like an hour to really figure out how to how to do that. I assure you, if you use SVG for backgrounds like this, your life is going to be a lot easier and it's just a better way to do it and it's going to be good quality all the time. Um, you're not gonna get like a, um, if I did this curve with a PNG, I would probably get like some pixels there. It's not gonna be perfect. Um, I really like sharp, everything like I use the video for, for logos any kind of illustration background anything that can be SVG should be an SVG because it's lighter and it's better quality there's no reason why anyone should be using PNGs anymore but I hope that you learned something that you really start using the power of SVGs uh, within WordPress and or any web development platform this is really a game changer for layout, um, for website layout. It's really something that I've been kind of uh, working with for the past few years. And it really makes everything a lot easier and nicer. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and like this video so I can continue making content like this. Thank you.